from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, August the 4th, 2021. Three rockets were fired into northern Israel in the middle of the day today from Lebanon. Sirens sounded in the area of Kiryat Shmona, sending residents running for safety. Two of the projectiles landed in Israeli territory, sparking fires. The third fell short. There were no physical injuries, though several people were treated for anxiety and shock. In response, the IDF tweeted that artillery forces struck targets along the Lebanese border, later sharing video of the retaliatory response. There are reports that local armed Palestinian terror groups were behind the attack and not the Lebanese-based terror group Hezbollah. Israel's Defense Minister Benny Gantz said he sent a strong message to UNIFIL, the United Nations peacekeeping force in Lebanon, over the rocket fire. And staying with Gantz, the defense chief today, together with Israel's foreign minister Yair Lapid, addressed the attack last week on an Israeli-owned ship in the Gulf of Oman. In a briefing of UN Security Council ambassadors today, Gantz named the two Iranian commanders, he said, were responsible for the attack, Saeed Arajani and Amir Ali Hajizadeh, whom he said were spreading terror across the Middle East. Two people were killed in the attack last week on the Israeli-owned Mercer Street, a British and a Romanian citizen, and UK Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab said today that the UK has written to the Security Council president alongside Romania and Liberia about the incident, tweeting that the council must respond to Iran's destabilizing actions and lack of respect for international law. By the way, there were reports yesterday of a number of other vessels in the same area that encountered disturbances, possibly seizures, by Iranian or Iranian-backed forces. But things appear to have been resolved today. The details still unclear. One of the winning judokas on the mixed team event for Israel at the Tokyo Games made a very special visit with his bronze medal. Upon his return home on Monday, Peter Palchek went to Sheba Medical Center to surprise his mother, Larissa, who works as a nurse in the hospital's coronavirus clinic, where he showed his medal to his mother, placing it around her neck. Today, August the 4th, marks the 77th anniversary of the arrest of Anne Frank and her family during the Holocaust. The Simon Wiesenthal Center's Museum of Tolerance is marking the anniversary with its current exhibit, Anne, which highlights little-known facts about Anne Frank's and her family's two years in hiding in the annex of a house in Amsterdam. And today marks the 109th anniversary of the birth of Raoul Wallenberg, the Swedish diplomat who risked his life to save the lives of tens of thousands of Jews in Budapest during the Holocaust. There are over 30 monuments honoring Wallenberg around the world. One of them is in the township of Parsippany, Troy Hills, New Jersey, where a ceremony was held on Sunday to remember Wallenberg and his legacy to stand up to evil. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, August the 4th at 7 o'clock, Eva Schloss, who knew Anne Frank before the war and whose mother married Otto Frank after the war, talks about her early friendship with Anne and recounts her own harrowing tale of survival in Auschwitz. At 8, Dan Alon, a member of the Israeli fencing team at the 1972 Munich Olympics, recounts the hostage-taking and murder of 11 of his teammates. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Ron Carner, former head of Maccabi USA on L'Chaim. At 10, Jeffrey Gurok talks about American Jewry and sports. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, August the 4th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well. <laughs>